Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie and I create all kinds of home and lifestyle videos here on my channel. Today we took a little road trip out to a really big nursery um, in Loganville, Georgia. It's not where I live so I can say that but I took a road trip out here and I'm really excited to look for a couple of plants for our patio and our front porch and maybe also some vessels to put them in. It is really, really crowded. I knew this place was like well known but I came at 11 on a Monday and I thought maybe I'd beat the crowds no such luck. So I'm going to do my best to film footage. We'll see if it becomes really uncomfortable because there's a ton of people around, but I'm going to do my best. So anyways, let's go ahead and shop for some plants. So let me know what you guys think about leaving the sound on in the background. I really like kind of that like background noise when it's birds chirping and you know plants rustling in the wind. I really like that. So I'm leaving the background noise on for this shopping just to kind of make you feel like you're right there with me. But this nursery was amazing. They had so many things and so many varieties of plants that I've had a hard time finding at big box stores like Home Depot. So I was really excited to see a lot of things. The only thing is I didn't need a lot at this point um, because I do have a limited yard space and I tried to really be on a mission and stick with my list. Um, but if you are in the North Georgia area and you need like full landscaping and a lot of plants, this is a great place to get them for variety and also price. Okay, so just finished up, my car's beeping at me, just finished up at the garden center and I'm so thankful it didn't start raining. It was supposed to rain. Sorry, let me get my air conditioning on. It was supposed to rain like as soon as I got here and I was so bummed, but it didn't rain. It was actually beautiful. The sun came out, which is why I took off my jacket. And yeah, it was really beautiful. I will say this place was 10 out of 10 for plants. So many plant varieties, all the things that I can't usually find at like Home Depot and things. But I, A, missed the soil. It was at the, like after the checkout. So I would have had to go back through the line and they didn't really have like a lot of variety anyway and they didn't have fertilizer or anything. So I'm gonna go to somewhere else for that. I think I might actually go to Pike for that. And then they also didn't have like containers and things like ornamental containers like I was kind of hoping for. So the day is still young. I think I'm gonna go to another, either another local nursery or like a Pike um, or even Home Depot and get some soil um, fertilizer. And then I also need, or I'm looking for um, another planter. I just need a little one for the front porch because I got some really beautiful flowers to go in there. So I got some great variety of plants I'll share when I get home. But a lot of the things I was looking for, I had a very specific list of what I needed. That way I wouldn't just like lose my mind in the plant store because that tends to happen sometimes. So um, I stayed pretty on task, I think. But anyways, I'm gonna go get some of these other items that I need. I might share um, me doing that and then we'll get home and get some things in their pots. I don't think I'm, I got anything that needs to go into the ground. Um, intentionally because I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> I did that already for this year at least so far. So anyways. I do have to mute the audio from Pike because they were playing music. So I ended up going to Pike after the growers outlet and they were playing music in the background. So for copyright reasons, I have to mute the background noise. But um, I really like Pike. I've always liked Pike Nurseries. It is a chain. I don't know if it's a chain where you happen to live, but we at least have it here in the southeast um, and I was actually surprised the prices were definitely not as good but I was able to find a lot of variety of plants that I was looking for um, I had already got them at the growers outlet but they definitely had a wide variety here of certain um, plant varieties especially like certain proven winners varieties that um, I look for because I hear good things about them so anyways I got a couple last minute things at Pike and then I went home and I'm going to share with y'all what I found Okay, so it is about to rain. 
it looks like it's about to rain but i wanted to quickly show y'all what i picked up so i had some of these i don't know if i have the name these are an um the creeping jenny i think yeah keeping jenny i actually got these to go in with my hostas kind of around the base of my hosta that's already planted that y'all saw the last time i did a plant video and then i got some white begonia and some white um shade impatience so these and these are going to be for underneath the covered patio because they are for the shade but they do give me some like white um bloom so it looks kind of i don't know it gives it some interest other than just looking like house plants and they're there so i got those and then i got this japanese painted fern which i got because it said it was pretty easy to take care of so i'm hoping for that this is also going to go underneath the covered portion of the patio so y'all let me know if you've um, had one of these and how well it did. And then I got um, a Proven Winners little um, Super Tunia. And this is Bubblegum. This is a little one, but I'm thinking it's going to grow because these Super Tunias tend to be kind of like not so, like they grow really crazy. So this is actually going to go um, in a hanging basket in the backyard. Right there, actually. Um, so it's going to go up in there and I'm hoping it'll just grow really huge and spill and be really pretty. And I do like just pink, pink, blue, and then white in this garden area. So the pink I think will be really pretty. And then I got two of these. They are red. I don't know what that, I don't know how to say that, but, um, they looked, I thought they were a petunia variety, but I might be wrong actually. I'm not sure. Um, actually I think they are, they're just like a little petunia, but these are red and I got two of them for my front yard. I use my front yard. I do red and white flowers and then the backyard, I just do blue, pink, purple, and white. So these will go in the front with, I'm thinking this grass, this ornamental grass. I'm going to put all this in a container. So this is blue arrows junkus. I've never had this, um, but it's just grass and I don't know how it'll do in the full sun, but hopefully that will be okay and then i did um i got a caladium a white christmas caladium for the shade this is going to be like a thriller in my one of my um containers on the covered patio so probably this maybe some of the um impatience and then maybe some of that creeping jenny if i have extra or i'll just get another spiller later but i thought this one was so pretty i love the green and white underneath the shade portion I'm mostly just doing green and white greenery and then white blooms and that's it keeping it really simple so that it's very relaxing to the eye um, and then this is also going to go under there this is a palm this is the variety of it I guess um, but I was reading that this is apparently very low maintenance and very very easy to take care of once it's established so I'm going to get it in a nice big pot and just let it do its thing and take good care of it hopefully um, I like that this kind of gives in like a very peaceful kind of beachy almost Vibe, so that will be in the covered portion and then the last thing I got for the covered patio as well um, is this hanging spider plant so this again it said it was super easy to take care of and it's got a lot of things draping off of it so this is going to hang in the under the covered patio um, just to give some interest I wanted to do a fern but I actually think this will be way less high maintenance than a fern and they didn't have any ferns that were in a small enough container like this and this was only like eight bucks i think so really good deal for this this will provide a lot of interest um vertically because it'll be hanging in the corner and i think everything looks really good together obviously except for these because they're going to be in the front yard and not the backyard and i also picked up these two containers of white petunias to hang on the front porch and they were only like eight dollars a piece okay y'all so i wanted to sit down and talk a little bit about our plans and like decor style for the back deck and the front porch. I'm not sure how much I've already explained. I think I explained the, what we're doing in the back and I will also share that as it is finished. Um, but in the front, I don't show the front of my house um, for privacy reasons, but I will kind of explain the style that I have going on on the front so that you can kind of understand why I choose the flowers that I choose. So our house, like I've mentioned before, is a builder grade, semi-custom new build from 2020 we moved in. So when we moved in, the front yard already had some landscaping. So it was pretty simple landscaping. We've got like some mock orange and then some um, 
some boxwoods. And then what I did was filled in kind of in the windows, right? So like if there was an evergreen or if there was a boxwood, a boxwood, boxwood, I put things in the middle. Um, and I stick with a red, white, and blue kind of theme out there, mostly red and white, but then I do have some blue salvia um, when they're deciding to bloom, which right now they're not, and I'm a little concerned about it, but it's fine. Um, and I also do have a lavender plant out there. So a little bit in the landscape I added, and then I have a couple of pots I shared in the um, video last time, I think it was two weeks ago, the terracotta pots and the plants that I have in them with some red and white variety. So I also got those plants that I shared from the growers um, outlet that will be also in some pots as soon as I get, I, I just think, need one other pot. Um, I'm gonna try to grab one tomorrow actually. And those will be, that will be the last little pot that goes on my little tiered stand. So the front yard is pretty simple. We have rocking chairs. I kind of just like the black and white because our house is black and white with a red door. So we have black and white kind of furniture. And then the flowers are red and white, which I think keeps it really simple and um, not too overwhelming to the eye. Although I do love very, very colorful gardens and front yards. I do find that to be really fun. It's just not, I'm not ready for it now, but maybe someday. Um, sorry, also if you hear the dog walking around, he needs his toenails to be cut. He makes a little pitter-patter everywhere that he goes. Um, so anyways, the backyard is really what we are working on now because we are having um, some contractors come out and work on it. We had a 12 by 10 foot patio slab that that's just how the house came. Um, and then some like dirt along the, the back of the house with pine straw, but no um, landscaping. So. Last year, I added in some flowers and shrubs and perennials and things in the in the landscaping. And this year, I added a couple more things, which I'll share kind of in my final reveal. I've already shown a little bit of it, but um, that area looks really good. I do need to put some pine straw down, and I'm going to do like a rock border to border it in once kind of this whole patio project is done. Unfortunately, we're at a little bit of a, um, a pod. We're waiting on the electrician to come and do the electrical hookup for out there. But basically what we wanted to do was cover and screen in the existing slab that was already there and then extend the slab. Can you see this dog right now? It'd be really funny if you could see him in the video. Um, extend the existing slab out another 12 feet. So basically we just replicated the current slab kind of over and then we're gonna have the covered and screen in portion, which right now currently we have it covered it's framed, it's covered, and then the roofing is done. Um, so we did contract that out just because we really wanted to do this when we moved in the house. It was an upgrade to do, and a lot of our neighbors did it. And unfortunately, when we moved in, we just spent the budget on other upgrades that we wanted to do. And we were on a really limited budget because at the time we moved in this house, um, I was still not graduated from PT school yet. So we were on one income, and we decided to upgrade in things like the flooring and things like that. So. We weren't able to do it then, so now we actually are using the um, same people that built these houses to do this um, add-on. And so the other thing about that and a reason to kind of pay to have it done is so that it matches and it's consistent with the other houses in the neighborhood for like HOA reasons. Um, so that was why we decided to pay to have that done instead of doing it ourselves. We are big about DIY here on this channel. That's why I feel the need to say that. but. We are going to do the like the design around the columns and the screen ourselves and the painting, I believe. We're going to try to do all that ourselves um, because that's a little bit less of a craft. I think it, it, I think we could figure that one out, um, but we're waiting on electric. So the electrician's going to come and once he is done, then I think we have to have somebody come finish the ceiling. I'm not sure if that's something my husband's going to try to do or not. And then we'll kind of finish it up with the screen and the columns and all of that. So that's where we're at right now. I'm very anxious to have this project done because I actually have bought um, furniture for it already. Well, I, we bought the couch that we wanted because it was selling out at Walmart and I was a little concerned. So um, we did buy a couch from Walmart and I've seen really good reviews about this couch. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that have gotten it and I liked it because I could actually go to the store and sit on it and try it out. Whereas other furniture from different websites, you don't get that same experience. You don't get to try it out first. So I felt more comfortable purchasing from Walmart and also because I know I can return it. Whereas like different other websites that don't have a storefront, I think that returns can get a little bit tricky. So we felt confident buying this couch from 
um, Walmart. I'm just hoping it's not too big for the space, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I am gonna show you kind of my little design inspo that I made. Um, so far I've only bought the couch and the rug and then the like planters and things that I have shared with y'all. So on my little design mock-up, you'll see the, the rug and the couch that we bought. And the couch came with some coffee tables as well. Um, I don't have the, I don't know exactly how to cut, like take out the white background of the, the um, screenshots that I took. I think you need a certain, I know you can do it on Canva if you pay for the upgraded version of Canva, but I don't. So it's not the most fancy design mock-up you've ever seen, but you get the point. The point is to see how things go together color-wise and texture-wise. So I just made that quick little thing on Canva and wanted to share that with y'all so you can kind of catch my vision and hopefully see it come to life um, in a video maybe in the next coming weeks, hopefully. So that is that. And then today my goal was to get very specific things. I had a whole list. So I knew I needed something for the hanging container in my backyard. So I got that. I knew I wanted hanging pots for the front, which I got those. I knew I wanted something to put in one pot, just one more pot on the front porch. And then I knew I wanted some shade plants for the covered patio and I got all of those things as well. So I was very specific. Um, I felt like I had a, a strategy and hopefully didn't just buy things that um, I didn't need. There were so many beautiful flowers and I have the hardest time when I see beautiful flowers not just buying them, but realistically I had to think about the yard space that I have and the projects that I have kind of going on and not buy things that I don't have a place for just to stick them in the ground and hope that they work. You know, you have to be strategic with plants, especially because they need certain amounts of light and water um, and things like that. So, and they're also, you know, you're paying for something that you have to care for so that it doesn't die. So I didn't want to buy things and really you know, bite off more than I could chew and not be able to take care of these plants properly. So I'm very excited. I am not gonna pot them today and I will pot them probably tomorrow after work, I'm thinking, cause I have to go get another pot. Um, but I did grab some soil when I was out and yeah, anyways, so the, the reason we wanted to do a covered and an uncovered patio is because the uncovered patio will have the grill obviously and then a seating area. So we did already have a table and chairs from before. So we're keeping that table and chairs, I believe. I don't, they're not the nicest, but we don't need to buy something for there since we already have something. So that will be like the cooking and eating part of the outside. And then I'll have my herb garden out there as well and maybe some potted plants, I'm not sure yet. There's not a ton of room out there, so I don't wanna overwhelm the patio space. And then in the covered and screened area, we want it to be like really cozy. So it'll be a couch, you know, a couple of wicker chairs we're hoping, eventually maybe a fire table. Our couch came with a coffee table, so we're not gonna buy that right away. Um, but then I also wanna do curtains along the back for privacy. And so that the covered part is gonna be very much for lounging, reading, enjoying a cup of coffee, very you know relaxing and private little oasis. Whereas the uncovered part will be for like the entertaining, like eating, cooking, things like that. So that's the idea. I'm very excited to have this project done. I think that that's gonna be so nice. We're gonna really be able to enjoy being outside. I love to be outside, especially, you know, here in Georgia, we have a very long period of time where we can actually be outside and enjoy it. And so having that indoor outdoor living space is, it's valuable because you get use out of it. So it's worth it, I think. Um, so we are just so excited for this project to be done and I can't wait to show y'all. I could just not have said anything and shown y'all at the very end, but I do think sharing the process um, is realistic. And when it comes to home decor and what I'm doing and spending money on in my home these days, this is it, it's this project. So I'm not really focusing on the inside right now. I'm not really shopping for the inside right now because this is the current task at hand. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed kind of this casual vlog style plant haul, patio plans kind of video. I do hope, you know, of course I'll be sharing the progress. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see y'all next Tuesday in a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.